Hello, this is Nexus Cool here with some free roam multiplayer of Red Dead Redemption. I was playing with TieGuy85 or Halif and Pipazoo or Hoffman. And uh, right here we are in a gang hideout, uh, the Fort Mercer gang hideout, which you do get to play in the single player, but here. I'm doing multiplayer, so that's what I'm doing here. So I think I can get a drop shot, take this guy out. And um, the whole multiplayer experience in this game is very it has a lot of depth to it. There's a lot you can do in multiplayer. Uh, here, I believe I show up, show two missions, and then some hunting. Uh, we I spent we spent like an hour or two. In this lobby, just going around, uh, we, we experimented uh, hijacking horse and buggy, which is like a horse and like a buggy attached. But we call the horses horse and buggy because there are two horses in this one. And here, I'm just going trying to rack up a bounty. Uh, I don't do too well. I I don't know. I was trying to rack up bounty for about like 20 minutes and then kind of failed because I was in this open area upstairs so when I got a big enough bounty just got shot down now this game is a great game to be playing with your friends there's a lot of variety of what you can do in free roam you make your own ugh, one sec you make your own posse and that posse you can you know where your posse members are and you can do a bunch of things with them and playing in that way it really makes it fun for I don't know it, it I just found it a lot of fun we did a lot ch chatting running around this open vast world uh, I was interesting definitely interesting now besides that this is my second commentary about Red Dead Redemption the first one's in the single player so this one is slightly different and Again, this is a sick ass game. I wreck that guy. Right now, my bounty is fairly low. It's like, what, like $190, which is like killing three people or something like that. I don't know. This this part's a bit slow. I'm trying to fortify this upper area and look at my mini map to see where I can find the uh, sheriffs or whoever's trying to shoot me. And it doesn't end up working too well. I die, as I said. I think I rack up like a $900 bounty or $700 bounty, something like that. Which really isn't that bad, good. In the single player, my bounty got much higher. I more or less, all, all you do in the single player is you shoot a bunch of guys. And then the sheriffs come after you and you can take them out fairly easily in the single player. You can just more or less, you once you kill them all, they're gone. And they don't really respawn until later if you're in the same area they may have a new uh, gang or or group of sheriffs that'll come after you but really that doesn't concern me too much because they usually come at me when I'm on my horse and I just run away from them and eventually they leave me alone now what else what else what else what else I just watched a cool movie I guess it's called The Goods I don't know, I'm quite funny, I guess, kind of, kind of stupid humor, like many comedy movies these days, like, they're humorous, or funny, but like, what's the point, just a stupid plot, this one was about selling cars, one guy is just like, all supreme at selling cars, like, who supreme, I'm supreme, it's like, I was born to sell cars, but, I don't know. It's just kind of kind of a stupid plot. Funny parts, but I don't know. I, I did enjoy watching it. Um Happy, the Lost franchise or series is finally over. The last episode was pretty sweet, I guess. I, I, I liked it. Wouldn't have guessed that would be the ending, but I don't know. 
The ending was pretty good. Pretty good. I, I wasn't expecting the ending for sure. I was kind of expecting something like that to happen, but as some people haven't watched this, probably, if anybody who does watch Lost already has, more or less what happened was the main guy from like all the episodes, his name is Jack. Yeah, it's the doctor. He just became became the, uh, the leader of the island or the protector of the island, and he just goes... To protect the island, well, his friends get off the island and he dies protecting the island. So I found so stupid because he didn't have to die. And in that flash sideways, in that altern alternate um, reality, I didn't really understand, like, the, the whole alternate reality was, like, what their life would be if the island never existed. And then you got to the point where they just realized, oh, look at that, look at that. The only reason why we're in this alternate reality is to meet up with our friends from the from the uh, boat or whatever, not the boat, I mean the the plane, the plane crash and the island, it's, I really didn't understand why they went to all that length and detail just to get everybody in that area, I just thought, I thought it was going to be that they, I thought it was going to be that they ended up together, but in like real life, not all dead, because it takes place when they're all dead, so like Jack's father's there, Jack's there, Everybody who died throughout the series is there. I didn't see Michael. Or his son. I don't know which one's Michael. Which one's his son. I don't know what their names are. I forget. It was a while ago. Didn't see the black guys. But. I don't know. It was not bad. It was a bit emotional ending a little bit. Here we're in Pike's Basin. Doing another gang hideout. And. Shooting my repeater or whatever gun I'm using. And so, I don't know, another one of my favorite shows is Chuck. You ever, ever seen Chuck? It's about this person or a spot where he becomes has to become a spy because his older best friend who betrayed him, kind of in a way, sent him this series of images that was called the Intersect, which allowed him to have vast knowledge about certain things. So he had to join the CIA and all that stuff, and it was, it's pretty cool how the how like he has this knowledge and just like he flash he has flashes of knowledge of what goes on. So I don't know. It's it's a good show. I would recommend checking it out. Third season just finished, so fourth season I'm assuming is going to be coming. I don't know what next next year sometime. I like that. Um, like that show. I'm getting into 24. Watch like the first four seasons. It's just so many seasons just ridiculous there's eight and i think they're finally done but like i really don't have the time to watch eight seasons so i'll get there eventually um now this next clip uh, right now we're gonna go to this is i believe this is bear hunting yes bear hunting this is a short clip actually it's like a minute um so we were going bear hunting, me, Thai guy, and Pipazoo. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Because we got to this open clearing and bears just started flying out of nowhere at us. It was like, what is going on? So I was like, what the... So I was just like laughing. Okay, so we killed this first bear fairly quick. He just dies. I want to see if I can skin him, but you can only do that in single player. I guess there's no purpose of getting money in multiplayer, so I, I understand why there's no why they don't allow you to skin them in s multiplayer. Now here, watch as the bears just fly out of midair. Like just watch, they killed that bear, and then I turn this way, and look at those bears everywhere. All those bears, oh, one there, one there, one there. He just he just ends up right there, so I start shooting him, and he kills me. What a that's like, it's like if you play Call of Duty, it's like, what's it called? Um, not spawn raping, but uh, spawn killing. Just like, wow, just spawns there and kills me. It's like, there's no decency. Die again. I get double teamed, so I'm going to replay it again. Uh, that's it for now. This is Nexus Cruel signing out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, bye.